In our previous video, we have seen classification of lipids. Lipids were classified into simple lipids, complex lipids and derived lipids. Simple lipids we have seen that they are uh, made up of fats and waxes and fats were made up of fats and waxes were made up of alcohols and fatty acids. Okay, so now we will talk something about these fatty acids that make up the fat that makes up the waxes that makes up the esters, cholesterol ester like that. Whatever esters we are talking about, they all have fatty acids or the free fatty acids present inside the blood. All right, so we'll talk about those fatty acids. And those fatty acids are of different types and you need to know almost all types because they are very, very relevant for us. All right. Now, let us start. What are fatty acids? Fatty acids. This sketch matches my shirt. I like it. Okay. These are aliphatic these are aliphatic carboxylic acids aliphatic carboxylic acid in my carbohydrate video i have told there is a carbon chain carbon 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 at the end at the end if you attach an aldehyde or a keto group aldehyde or it becomes a carbohydrate if you remove this, mm, mm, mm. okay. If a carboxylic acid is attached and an amino acid or an amino group or an amino group is attached, then it becomes an amino acid. If you remove this amino group, it becomes a fatty acid. So, what are fatty acids? Aliphatic change and a carboxylic acid aliphatic carboxylic acids okay aliphatic carboxylic acids now how do we number this how do we number this we have also seen the numbering whichever is the functional group or the carbon near the functional group will be the carbon number one here carboxylic acid carbon this is one two three four five six seven eight and nine the carbon adjacent to the functional group, what do we call it? Alpha, beta, gamma, delta and the last carbon is omega and the last carbon is omega. If you want to say this carbon from omega, what do you say? It is omega 1, omega 2, omega 3. This carbon is an omega 3 carbon. This carbon is an omega 3. 3 carbon. If you are talking about omega families, it will be like this. Omega 1, omega 2, omega 3, omega 4, omega 5. This omega nomenclature is different from your regular ones. Regular ones is carboxylic acid. Don't get confused. Okay, don't get confused. The one normal nomenclature for all carbohydrates, proteins are and fatty acids is that the functional group will be the first carbon or the carbon near the functional group will be the first carbon. So, here carboxylic acid carbon is the first carbon, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, eighth and ninth. And the second carbon or the adjacent carbon to that will be alpha, beta, gamma, delta and the last carbon will be omega. If someone says omega 7, omega 7 that means from omega carbon, from omega carbon seventh position 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This will be the omega 7 carbon. Okay. All right, T. Now, what other things? There are two types of fatty acids we will talk just in a while. Saturated ones and unsaturated ones. Saturated and unsaturated ones. The saturated ones, they end up in anoic acid. They end up in anoic acid. And the unsaturated ones, they end up in enoic acid. Enoic acid, okay. Anoic acid, enoic acid, or eek, 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 eek. Like saturated fatty acid is palmitic acid. Palmitic acid. 
पामिटो लीक एसिड ओके पामिटो लीक एसिड हेक्सानोइक एसिड हेक्सा डेका इनोइक एसिड इफ इट इज सैचुरेटेड द केमिकल नेम विल हैव एनोइक इफ इट इज सैचुरेटेड इनोइक इफ इट इज अनसैचुरेटेड इक ओलिक और ईक इज प्रेजेंट ईक विथ ए एक्स्ट्रा ई ईक विल बी युअर अनसैचुरेटेड फैटी एसिड्स ओके सो दैट इज हाउ वी नेम देम अनोइक इनोइक ईक ईक पामिटो पामिटिक पामिटो लीक एसिड ओके ऑल राइट नाउ वील सी इन डिटेल अबाउट हाउ दीज फैटी एसिड्स आर क्लासिफाइड फैटी एसिड्स आर क्लासिफाइड फैटी एसिड्स फैटी एसिड्स आर क्लासिफाइड एस saturated saturated and unsaturated fatty acids are classified based on saturated and unsaturated okay i don't want omega 7 written all over my face saturated and unsaturated now these saturated fatty acids and unsaturated fatty acid what is the difference there are so many differences saturated fatty acid and unsaturated fatty acid saturated fatty acids single bond only one type of bond c c c c c unsaturated fatty acids they have double bond c c double c c something like that okay they have double bonds saturated single bond unsaturated double bond what is the importance chemically single double okay then their melting points change they have high melting points these have low melting points that is they are present as liquid these are mostly present as solids what else saturated and unsaturated these forms rigid plasma membrane they make the plasma membrane rigid they make the plasma membrane fluid we have seen in our cell class plasma membrane class what causes fluidity of the membrane what causes rigidity of the membrane saturated fatty acids cause rigidity of the membrane hydrogenation of unsaturated fatty acids will cause rigidity of the membrane branch chain fatty acid will cause fluidity of the membrane unsaturated fatty acids will cause fluidity of the membrane okay so here the plasma membrane is fluid they exist in liquid forms low molecular sorry low melting points and they have double bonds health wise if you eat an oil which is rich in saturated fatty acid it is very unhealthy for you ghee dalda margarine butter cheese your double cheese sandwich double cheese burger double cheese pizza sorry pizza pizza okay i don't know how to pronounce that pizza pizza uh, he taught me but i still couldn't get it pizza 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 okay what <laughs> we should see how italians pronounce our chutneys and uh, biryanis okay so unsaturated and saturated that is the difference okay now unsaturated based on number of double bonds again they are divided into mono unsaturated or mufa and poly unsaturated and pufa and a third group called as eicosanoids eicosanoids okay eicosanoids okay let us write the classification in a small briefcase here classification of fatty acids 
saturated fatty acids saturated fatty acids unsaturated fatty acids saturated fatty acids and unsaturated fatty acids unsaturated fatty acids are again divided into based on number of double bonds they are divided into a mono unsaturated fatty acid or mufa and a poly unsaturated fatty acid or pufa and also as eicosanoids or 20 carbon derivatives or eicosanoids these eicosanoids are again divided into prostanoids prostanoids which are prostaglandins prostacyclin and thromboxane prostaglandin prostacyclin and thromboxane then we have other eicosanoids like leukotrienes and lipoxanes leukotrienes and lipoxanes okay so this is our bread and butter box today so eicosanoids we'll talk in detail about uh, eicosanoids in uh, metabolism of eicosanoids it's a very big topic so we'll talk in detail about that for now we'll see what are the various mono unsaturated fatty uh, various saturated fatty acids various unsaturated fatty acids like mono unsaturated poly unsaturated fatty acids okay so let me start with saturated ones saturated fatty acid saturated fatty acids these ha don't have double bonds okay these don't have double bonds their melting points are high they make the plasma membrane rigid they exist in solid phase you need to heat them yeah oil sunflower oil safflower oil don't need to heat them but ghee dalda and all that to make it liquid you need to heat them all right so that is our differences about uh, saturated and saturated blah 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 saturated fatty acids what all saturated fatty acids you need to remember? Two carbon, four carbon, five carbon, six carbon, eight carbon, ten carbon, twelve carbon, fourteen carbon, sixteen carbon, eighteen carbon. Oh those are a lot of carbons if you don't want to remember it don't remember it okay think that you are reading this for your general knowledge anyway i don't think so they may ask sometimes question on this two carbons is acetic acid acetic acid four carbons is butyric acid 5 carbons is valeric acid 6 carbons is caproic acid 8 carbons is capric acid 10 carbons is caprylic acid, 12th carbon is lauric acid, 
12 carbons is lauric acid, 14 carbons is myristic acid, 16 carbons palmitic acid, 18 carbons stearic acid, are there many more? There are many more, but we do not need to remember all of them. Okay. Now, acetic acid, where do you come across acetic acid? Vinegar. Vinegar has acetic acid. It is also present in digestive product of ruminants, hydrolysis. What hydrolysis? Digestive product of ruminants. Ruminants does not mean the uh, people who follow Rumi, the Sufi saint. Ruminants are animals which have this sack wherein they will sit and just chew, 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 chew. Okay? So, acetic acid is one of the product of that. Next, butyric acid is present in butter is present in butter also in the digestion of ruminants. Valeric acid, this is present in flowering in flowers, okay. Esters of valeric acid, esters of valeric acid are fragrant, are fragrant. So, you use them in perfumes, you use them in perfumes. Caproic acid smells like goat, goat smell, goat smell, but they are used in preparation of artificial flavors, preparation of artificial flavors, artificial flavors. Capric acid and caprylic acid, these are present in goat's milk. That is what makes goat's milk that taste. It gives goat's milk that taste. In my village, yeah, I hail from a village. So, uh, now it is a town. So, whenever uh, a person used to get injured and bone used to get fractured or dislocated. We did not have any orthopedicians at that time. So, we, all we had was the vaid who uh, or the jarra. What they used to do is they used to just pull your hand or leg wherever it is fractured and set it right and put a you know a splint to that and that used to heal on its own. But in that splint, our Indian masala was being added. What is that masala? People leaves along with goat milk. Okay, is poured on that, and you are also made to drink goat milk. Oh, I had one episode of my leg, and I have experienced that. But some places people eat uh, drink goat milk. Probably after heating that, I think it becomes palpable. But uh, without eating, God help us. Okay, anyways, so that is about capric acid and caprylic acid. Acetic acid, vinegar, digestion of ruminants, butyric acid, butter and so on. Valeric acid in perfumes, caproic acid in artificial flavors. Capric acid, caprylic acid is present in goat's milk. Lauric acid is the spice of biryani. They are present in laurels. Cinnamon. Dalchinika chakla, laurels, cinnamon, what else? Coconut oil, coconut oil, palm, kernels, uh, okay. Myristic acid. Myristic acid is present in myrtles, again in coconut oil, coconut oil, 
palm canals butter butter here also butter they are present in butter and all that palmitic acid this is the one which is present in animal fats and plant animal and plant fats have palmitic acid even stearic acid is present in animal and plant fats stearic acid is used as a food additive food additive i think it is e567 you just need to cross check that food additive okay it is also used in making cosmetics like your lipsticks okay stearic acid so if you remember this much about saturated fatty acid think that your life is dhanya and you have accomplished everything in your life okay next we'll see what are mono unsaturated fatty acids and poly unsaturated fatty acids but before that i want to let's uh, write the carbon structure one carbon 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 So we'll number it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay. Okay. Now. if you number this in the omega form this is your normal nomenclature this is your omega 1 okay omega 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 like that okay that is your omega numbering all right now what else you can write here this is alpha carbon beta carbon and gamma carbon okay that numbering will change as the number of carbons are increasing anyways so mono unsaturated fatty acids mono unsaturated fatty acid or mofa examples for mono unsaturated fatty acids these are called mono because they have single double bond okay they have single double bond examples for this is palmito leak acid palmito leak acid palmito leak acid is having 16 carbons palmito leak acid is having 16 carbons and only one double bond 16 carbons and one double bond where is the double bond present it is present on the ninth carbon it is present on the ninth carbon remember whenever there is a double bond the first double bond inside the body is always inserted at the ninth carbon why because why because there is an enzyme called as delta 9 desaturase which is present in humans and that will incorporate the double bond during fatty acid synthesis that enzyme will incorporate only at the c9 position okay rest all are modifications of this but first bond is formed at C9 by delta 9 desaturase okay so 16 carbons one double bond at position number 9 at position number 9 okay 
if it is position number 9 what is the omega family 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 on carbon 7 there is a double bond so it is an omega 7 family where do we get pa palmitic acid what is the importance of palmitic acid palmitic acid is present in almost all animal and plant fats everywhere it is present animal and plant fats all right next oleic acid oleic acid oleic acid it is made up of 16 sorry 18 carbons oleic acid is made up of 18 carbons it is having a single double bond at position number 9 at position number 9 so let us increase the number of carbons here this will be c17 and this will be c18 okay and the omega numbers will change and the no omega numbers will change this will be now 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 so this is on the ninth carbon the double bond is now on the ninth carbon so it will be an omega 9 family it will be an omega 9 family oleic acid is the most abundant oleic acid is the most abundant fatty acid in animal fat huge amount of oleic acid is present in animal fat it is derived from or it is rich in olive oil it is rich in olive oil okay then it also acts as pheromones from dead bees suppose honey bees are dead in the colony and those uh, worker ants they need to find where these dead uh, bees are so these dead bees they secrete this uh, oleic acid once they are dead oleic acid gets released and it produces a smell which acts as a pheromones for other honey bees or the for, uh, for the worker bees to uh, remove this dead bees from the honey hive in other pheromones also they may be present okay next it is used experimentally as iv in sheep to produce to produce acute lung injury with pulmonary edema if you give this iv if you give oleic acid iv what will happen is your lungs start getting damaged and acute lung injury will occur along with pulmonary edema now why do they want to give it to the sheep because they want to study the effect of various drugs in acute lung injury and pulmonary edema for that they are going to torture the poor sheep instead of eating them it was sick okay so that is about oleic acid okay it's most abundant fatty acid in animal fat in olive oil it acts as a pheromone and also experimentally it is given in sheep to produce acute lung injury with a with pulmonary edema to study the effect of the drugs next the third example of a mufa is elidic acid is elidic acid elidic acid is 18 carbon single double bond at position number 9 and it also belongs to the family of omega 9 so 
So, what is the difference between oleic acid and elidic acid? Oleic acid is a cis isomer, elidic acid is a trans isomer. Oleic acid on hydrogenation becomes a trans fatty acid. Trans fatty acids have an advantage over cis fatty acids that they can be stored for a very long time without getting damaged or without getting rancid. So, that is why most of the food industry people what they do most of the oils they increase the trans fat amount so that uh, they will be in the shelf for a very long time. Okay, In the supermarkets you might have been seeing that oil packets are kept, so many oil packets are kept. If nobody takes it and if they have, they have not hydrogenated it, what will happen is it will get rancid very fast, it will get spoiled very fast. So, they need to completely replace all that stack very fast and it is a very big loss for them. Okay, So, for that reasons they convert it into trans, but trust me eating trans fatty acids are very very dangerous. Why? Because they increase cholesterol ester transport proteins which decrease the HDL levels and indirectly cause atherogenosis, atherogenosis or your plaque formation. If there is a plaque, there is a thrombus. If there is a thrombus, there is a block. If there is a block, the heart dies. If the heart dies, you are dead. So that is about monounsaturated fatty acids. Now let us talk about polyunsaturated fatty acids. So based on number of carbon atoms, they can be di, uh, dienoic two double bonds, trienoic three double bonds, tetraenoic, pentaenoic, and hexaenoic fatty acids. Okay. So now let us look into those various dienoic, trienoic, tetraenoic, and all that. So dienoic is having two double bonds okay two double bonds the example for this is linoleic acid example for this is linoleic acid linoleic acid is made up of 18 carbons two double bonds at position 9 and position 12 at position 9 and position 12. So, let us draw at position 9 and at carbon 12. So, if it is 12, how many, car how many omega carbons? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, this belongs to omega 6 family. Palmitoleic acid omega 9 family, palmitic acid, omega 7 family, linoleic acid, omega 6 family. Okay. So, this linoleic acid, where is this linoleic acid found? This linoleic acid is found in cotton seed oil, corn oil, soya oil, all plant oils, plant oils will have linoleic acid. Okay. Linoleic acid is the mother of all essential fatty acids. It is a essential fatty acid. It is a precursor of arachidonic. It is a precursor of arachidonic acid. Okay. So, precursor of arachidonic acid. So, where is it present? Cotton seed oil, corn oil, soya oil, plant oils, essential fatty acid and precursor of arachidonic acid. All right. Now, let us look at trienoic acids. Trienoic acid, it has three double bonds. It has three double bonds. Example for this trienoic acid is gamma linoleic acid, linolenic acid, and alpha linolenic acid. 
both of them are having 18 carbons both of them are having 18 carbons okay three double bonds three double bonds but this one gamma linolenic acid has at position 6 9 and 12 whereas alpha linolenic acid has double bonds at 9 12 and 15 carbon positions okay now first let us look at gamma linolenic acid gamma linolenic acid positions are 6 9 and 12 so this is 6 this is 9 and this is 12 so what family omega family 1 2 3 4 5 6 so it is omega 6 family it is omega 6 family where is this gamma lino lenic acid present where is this gamma linolenic acid is present this gamma linolenic acid we see in evening primrose oil evening primrose oil and borage oil evening primrose oil is also called as king cure all king cure all or the mother of all uh, cures or the head of all cures why because south african native americans they used to use this oil for almost everything fever headache stomach ache loose motions uh, flu pregnancy anything joint pains anything you name they used to use that for uh, that ailment that is why it is called as king cure all here we also have one oil like that zinda telismat for headache use zinda telismat for cold use zinda telismat stomach ache my mother used to give zinda telismat because in our place there wasn't many doctors by then okay so loose motions zinda telismat anything zinda telismat okay so something like that evening primrose oil was also used like that okay so borage oil and evening primrose oil they have gamma linolenic acid alpha linolenic acid now let us look at this 9 12 and 15 so this 6 one is gone 9 12 and c 15 now you tell me what omega family will this be correct omega 3 family it is omega 3 family this alpha linolenic acid it is present in linseed oil it is present in linseed oil it is an essential fatty acid it is an essential fatty acid and precursor of and precursor of eicosapentaenoic acid and docosa docosa hexanoic acid eicosa pentanoic acid and docosa hexanoic acid it is precursor for that all right now let us look at tetraenoic acids tetraenoic 4 the example for this is arachidonic acid arachidonic acid arachidonic acid is having 20 carbons arachidonic acid is having 20 carbons four double bonds at position 5 8 11 14 okay 5 8 11 14 so now let us extend this c c so this is 19 carbon this is 20th carbon okay and this will be the omega 1 carbon now it is present at okay where are the double bonds present <coughs> the double bonds are present at position 
five, eight, eleven, and fourteen carbons. So, what will be the omega family? One, two, three, four, five, and six. So, it will belong to omega six family. Okay. It belongs to omega 6 family. Where is this arachidonic acid present? This arachidonic acid is present in animal fat, plasma membrane, everywhere. Animal fat, plasma membrane, etc., etc., etc. Arachidonic acid forms prostaglandins, prostacyclins, prostanoids, eicosanoids, everything. Prostaglandins, prostacyclins, thromboxins, then leukotrienes, lipoxins, all these are being formed by arachidonic acid. Okay? It plays a very major role in inflammation, plays a major role in inflammation. All right. So, that is arachidonic acid. Next, we have eicosapentanoic acid or we have the pentanoic acid. Pentanoic acid, pentanoic acid we are having Ecosa pentanoic acid also called as Timnodonic acid, okay, Ecosa pentanoic acid or Timnodonic acid. Ecosa pentanoic acid or Timnodonic acid, it has 20 carbons, 5 double bonds at position 5, 8, 11, 11, 14 and 17. Okay. 5, 8, 11, 14 and 17. So, what is the family? I hope by now you can recognize what family it is. Omega 3 family. Okay. Where is this eicosapentanoic acid present? It is present in fish oils. Fish oils, salmon, cod, mackerel, all those fish oils, this eicosapentanoic acid is present. Next, hexanoic acid. Hexanoic acid. Hexanoic acid is having 22 carbons. It has 6 double bonds. At position 4, 7, 10, 13, 16, 4, 7, 10, 13, 16, 19. Yeah. So, Change the bonds. Hmm. Four, seven, ten, thirteen, sixteen, and nineteen. We have to extend. It is twenty two carbons. So it is C, C. Okay. So omega one, omega two, and omega. So, it belongs to the omega 3 family, it belongs to omega 3 family. Where is this hexanoic acid present? Docosahexanoic acid, it is also called as docosahexanoic acid or DHA, docosahexanoic acid or sarvonic acid, docosahexanoic acid or sarvonic acid. Where is this present? most common source is breast milk. Other than this, fish oils also, sarvonic acid is present in galactosyl ceramide. Galactosyl ceramide, ceramide is sphingosine plus fatty acid, that fatty acid is this sarvonic acid. Galactosyl ceramides are present in the brain. They are required for you to think, learn, teach, love, hate, fight, cheat. For all that you require this hexanoic acid. So, for the newborn baby who is having a brain development, where is this 
uh, sulfonic acid coming from? This sulfonic acid is coming from the mom. Okay. So God has made all arrangements for us, and still we cheat Him, still we disobey Him. All right. So that is about various dienoic, trienoic, tetraenoic, pentaenoic, hexaenoic acids. So saturated, we have seen the classification: saturated fatty acids and unsaturated fatty acids. Saturated fatty acids we have seen: acetic acid, butyric acid, valeric acid, capric acid, capric acid, caprylic acid, lauric acid, myristic acid, palmitic acid, and stearic acid. Dienoic acid, linoleic, trienoic, gamma linolenic, and alpha linolenic, tetraenoic, arachidonic, pentaenoic, timnodonic acid, and hexaenoic acid is the sulfonic acid. Now, let us look into this and tell me which are omega 3 fatty acids. Omega 3, omega 3, omega 3. So, the ones which are omega 3 fatty acids, they are really, uh, uh, you know, very. Uh, good for health. Why? Because they decrease the cholesterol level, they increase the HDL level, they decrease the LDL level, they uh, decrease the synthesis of uh, tri uh, VLDLs inside the body. They are also have anti-inflammatory action, anti-atherogenic action and all that. Okay? That is why taking omega-3 fatty acids inside the food is going to really, really, uh, you know, help you with your cholesterol metabolism. All right? So, in our next video, we will be looking at essential fatty acids, essential fatty acid deficiency, omega-3 fatty acids and all that. For now, I want you to remember omega-3 alpha-linolenic, omega-3 timnodonic, omega-3 sarvonic, omega-3 alpha-linolenic, omega-3 timnodonic, omega-3 sarvonic, sarvonic, timnodonic, alpha-linolenic. Okay? So, which are the most essential fatty acids here? You can see that linoleic acid and alpha linolenic acid are the major ones which are essential fatty acids. In the next video, we will be discussing about various essential fatty acids. Okay? Stay tuned.